Hello and welcome back to Think and Derive. We have 4 power x square over 16 power x equal to 256. So first of all, this 16 is 4 power square and this 256 is 16 square that is 4 power 4. So this equation will become 4 power x square over 4 square power x equal to 4 power 4. Now if you look at the numerator, the base is 4 and the exponent is x square. And in the denominator, the base is 4 square and the exponent is x. To further simplify this, we will make the base same here and here. So for that we will apply a formula here that is a power m into n is equal to a power m into n. So this can be written as 4 power x square and this denominator will become 4 into 2x equal to 4 power 4. Now here the base is 4 and the exponent is x square and here the base is 4 and the exponent is 2x. So that means we have the same base. So let's apply a formula here. That is a power m or a power n equal to a power m minus n. So <clears throat> this equation will become 4 power x square minus 2x equal to 4 power 4. Since the base are same on both sides, so exponents will be equal. So that is x square minus 2x equal to 4. That is x square minus 2x subtract 4 on both sides. So this is minus 4 equal to 0. So this is the quadratic formula. So I will simplify it by the method of completing the squares. So for that we will add and subtract this by 1 that is this is x square minus 2x plus 1 minus 1 minus 4 equal to 0. Now the first three terms makes the formula that is a square minus 2ab plus b square which is equal to a plus a minus b whole square that is x minus 1 whole square. This minus 1 and minus uh, 4 makes minus 5 equal to 0. If you, if you solve this x minus 1 square, you will get x square minus 2x plus 1. Now this 5 is, this is x minus 1 square and this minus, this 5 we can put root and square on this, this will still remain the same. Now this is the form a square minus b square. So in the next step, next step is x minus 1 minus under root 5 into x minus 1 plus under root 5 equal 0. So these are the two factors, so either of them is equal to 0. So either x minus 1 minus under root 5 is equal to 0 or it's x minus 1 plus under root 5 is equal to 0. So that means this x is equal to 1 plus under root 5 and here x is equal to uh, 1 minus under root 5. So these are the solutions of the given problem. Hope you understood this. So don't forget to share it with your friends. We'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.